I tell you, there's more interesting stuff going on during the commercials than during the show. And that concerns me. That really concerns me. Steve's suggesting what Amanda can do tonight in New York City. <laughs> Not with me. Not with you. <laughs> I already have a previous date with Dr. Perino. All right. <laughs> yeah, those right. two are inseparable. <laughs> now, this is uh, the movie uh, Can't Buy Me Love. Amanda Peterson is with us. Steve Rossi, of course, is here, who is uh, a legend. He works with the incredible Marty Allen. The two of them together are fabulous. And Marty's wife, I might add. Well, that's the three of us. Yeah. And, um... Oops. Here's a movie, uh... Here's a movie clip, Robin. This Does is it right... need a setup? Yeah. This is the beginning of the movie. And, uh... Amanda, what is your name in the movie, Amanda? Cindy Mancini. Cindy is talking to her mom here. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it really doesn't need any more setup than that. Okay. Why were you kissing that woman? Or kissing goodbye. Like hell you were. <laughs> you were kissing her like a man. Don't insult my intelligence. <laughs> all right, I did kiss her. Is that all you can say about it? Well, what more do you want me to say, Mother? You've obviously made your mind up about the whole thing anyway. You wouldn't do such a thing. I can't believe it. Look, don't treat me like a child. You are my child. I don't care how old you are. You weren't brought up to be one of those people. <laughs> what people? I want to hear it from you. What people? Homosexuals. All right. <laughs> You were great in that. How to raise a homosexual. There you are. Thank you. you know? Like I said, it has a lot of deep messages. Want to hear a real clip? <laughs> yes, please. Yes. <laughs> no, no. Let's see. I don't no, even know what this clip is. A lot of people are going to see the movie just from that one. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> They'll keep looking for that scene. I like that kind of big a hit. <laughs> I think that was a different Disney film we were just listening to. <laughs> Disney Snow White and the Seven so. Sisters of Sappho. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hear let's hear a real clip. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, let's just listen. You'll know. Okay. You'll, you'll figure it out. I want to rent you. Huh? You want to rent me? Yeah. You pretend you like me, and we go out for just a few weeks, and that will make me popular. Just going out with me is not going to make you popular. Well, I have a thousand dollars. It says it will. I think you've mowed one too many lawns. There it is. <laughs> what a line. All right. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hey, it was a good show today. It was a good week, actually. We actually yes, did a good was. week of radio. Yeah, it's fine. Too bad you missed it. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, oh, it was good. I don't even know what went on this week, but it was well, good. Well, we had uh, several guests in. Who was that? Franken and Davis. Oh, yeah, who are appearing tonight. At uh, the seaport at Caroline's. Yeah. Caroline's at the seaport. We were going to go to that, but I don't think... Uh, can you go tonight? I can't nah. go. You can't either? Mm -mm. I'll go and give you a review. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's good enough. Thank you. And we had uh, Melissa Gilbert and Ray Manzarek, who will be yes. with Echo and the Bunnymen at uh, Jones Beach. Is that tonight? Yeah. And Where Danny is it? Jones Beach. Jones and Beach. Danny Sugarman brought his girlfriend, new girlfriend, Melissa Gilbert in. That yeah. was a surprise. So I guess Rob and Melissa are over. Huh? I yeah. think so, yeah. yeah Rob's free. Right. Yeah. I'm free. I'm reasonable. <laughs> oh, that's right. Steve's that's free scary. also. Let's put Rob and Steve <laughs> together. Hey, let's get them together, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Good in this lifetime. Amanda. <laughs> well, what would Dr. Perino say? <laughs> what is it, Gary? Nothing. Are you just coming in? Yeah. All right. Gary's hot for you, Amanda. <laughs> would you ever look at a Gary? No. At a Gary. Really? It depends on what he looked like. I well, not this one. Not this Gary. <laughs> not this particular Gary. She wouldn't look not at this, this one. Let's mention that tonight, <laughs> tonight, boy, Gary will be judging the beauty contest at Heather's in the That's Hilton Hotel right. at the Meadowlands. Your chance to get into the movies. In fact, there's a movie role in there. If you have a bikini, you can go over there and audition. I want to audition, I'll man. Be there. That's right. <laughs> in my bikini. <laughs> That'll be tonight. Jackie the Joke Man Martling, who is a, a brilliant comic. All right. Yes, he is. And if you've never seen him, you're... Uh, you're oh, you're really missing something. You're missing something. Tonight and Saturday at Mr. Rip's uh, in Valley Cottage, mm -hmm. which is going to be incredible two shows. And this Tuesday, September 1st, quit your job and go to Club Benet in South Amboy, New Jersey, because tickets are at Ticketmaster. It's going to be some Tuesday show. On a Tuesday night he's doing the Club Benet? On a Tuesday night. When is this? It's coming Tuesday? Is that before or after the strip show, Jackie? It's, uh... On either side of the strip show, we sandwich the strip show in between. I'm going to try to get there, really, because I I really like your well, comedy. The lower the cover. <laughs> and you know, uh, I love the way you write. <laughs> He's a great writer, isn't he? He is a great writer. Yes, Fred, where will you be this weekend? I'm going to be buying tickets for Jackie's appearance at Club Benet. Okay. 
So watch for Fred in the line at the club. And Amanda, where will you be this weekend? In New York or are you going to leave town? I'm probably going to be on an airplane. I don't know. Tonight I am and then tomorrow I'm probably, yeah, taking off. We're on six. You try. Sounds like fun. It sounds pretty good. In fact, uh, Amanda, I think, has her uh, sights on Gary. <laughs> she liked the way he looked, she told me. Really? Uh, <laughs> Gary's teeth remind Amanda of the green forest of Colorado. <laughs> 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 She's been thinking about it. Now, now, now. Yeah, well, good luck uh, with your movie career and all that stuff. Steve, good luck with your movie we'll career. Weren't you in Batman and Reuben? The, the Jewish Boy Wonder. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Fabulous. <laughs> I love Spanish that, too. <laughs> They show that at mental homes yes, all over the, the country. The Jewish superhero. Yeah. And Monday when we come back, we have a great show planned, don't we, Robin? We do? Yes. Oh, we do, yes. Well, we're going to go into rehearsals now, so we should be ready for yes, Monday. Yes, we will be ready. We'll be rehearsing that all weekend. And you have a good weekend. That's right. And uh, what do you want to hear, Amanda? What's your uh, favorite uh, song? Oh, I don't know. Let's hear something. Do you guys play music here, actually? Yeah, sure. Well, we <laughs> this don't. This is actually but... a rock station. Yeah, believe it or not. I see. What's your favorite? Take uh, it over. It's classic rock. Play some of the Grateful Dead. Oh, you I like the Grateful that. Dead? Yeah, when I saw it, he and Dylan in the uh, in uh, the Grateful, Grateful Dead. Dead and if I can I say, I told you, I, there's in a Anaheim. lot of a lot of kids in of Amanda's Anaheim. age who are just wild about the Grateful Dead. The Grateful Dead are such a goof. <laughs> I mean, no, they really are. Mm -hmm. Are such a goof. They are such a goof because it's like they never made an album anybody liked. They never sold any albums. Oh, but I, they got a bunch I of like freaks who follow them around and like In camp buses. out hey, because man. they're pathetic and can't get jobs. It's a great scene though. It's pretty funky. You ever been to a dead concert? Yeah, I've been there. I've been to a dead <laughs> concert. It's not that good. You they play what? all. The, they play fifty-minute songs. Fifty. Five. They can't old. remember most of their songs. It's for the psychedelic people out there. Hey, yeah. but did you do you like Dylan? <laughs> Do I like... No, I really don't. Uh, you don't, really? No, I really don't. I think you it's don't. boring and badly produced man, music. Man, can't sing. Yeah. Oh, my He doesn't God. have a voice. Steve, sing Who for her. Who is this man? So I want to say, yeah, because I need you, baby. I mean, the guy just doesn't <laughs> have it. He just doesn't have it. That's right. Well, so that's singing. That yeah, was, that's exactly And I was doing a good impression of him. <laughs> hey, but that's you know exactly what? Exactly the way he sounds. Can I hear a story really quick? Yes. No, but, and I'm being serious about the Grateful Dead. I don't get it. All right, well, let's... Well, yeah, that's true. And you say you do drugs? No, I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't get it. I, I happen to be standing behind these two girls <laughs> in uh, Power Records. They see Jerry Garcia, or whatever his name is, on the cover of Rolling Stone. and go, oh, what a funny picture. Like, he really doesn't look like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's a great looking butt. You know what, though? I was I was at the studios, Universal Studios, right? And I, like, was on my lunch break. Dig this. Yes. Right? And I'm sitting there, and I hear this music emanating from the sound stage next to me. So I decide to cruise in through the back door, and I walk in, and it's like there's this huge sound stage, and nobody else is on the stage. And I peek around the corner, and guess who's there practicing jamming? Who? Oh. Bob Dylan and Tom Petty. I freaked, mm. and I sat there and got a free concert for about an hour and just loved it. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, it was that pretty, is pretty unusual. Yeah, and albino that's a first. and uh, hippie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting yeah. there playing together. You think you know a lot about the Grateful Dead? I know a little bit. All right. Who is... Did you know that Jerry Garcia is Steve Rossi's father? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know that? <laughs> yeah, the Grateful Dead. Dad, oh, my dad like in that right, band. Right. I'm right. going to bed with the Grateful Dead. No, I never got that whole thing. Even when I was like, when the Grateful Dead albums came out, yeah. I'm talking about their real big hit mm -hmm. albums, mm -hmm. which really weren't such big hits if you read the sales on them. Right. But when they came out, like American Beauty and all that yeah. stuff, I used to say, well, hey man, what is this? Sounds like a bunch, it sounds like five Steve Rossies with instruments. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, what is that? <laughs> what, it, I mean, what kind of... What kind well, of group is that? I never understood that. I mean, it's a group for losers. That's what it is. It is. It really is. It's a group yeah. for losers. And so they got a yeah. big I audience. Say that. Mm, no. Yeah, no. It's like a lot of people say they're all nostalgic, but what do 19 and 20 year olds What have song to do you like of theirs? Budding losers. Um, Trucking or something? Friend of the Devil. Really? Yeah. It's got my sister's name in it. Oh. All right. Anne Marie. By the way, Amanda will be on MTV later. She's be doing a guest ah, VJ thing. Oh, good for her. Yeah. All right. We'll see how great that is. Nice to meet you, though. Thank you. All right. I'm taking off. Okay. Out of here. All right, we'll see you. See ya. Steve, I'll see you. No, Steve, you can stay. You don't have to leave with Amanda. <laughs> yeah, he wants to walk her out. All of a sudden, he's a host on the show. Terrific. No <laughs> Don't Bye -bye. call me. Don't you dare call me. <laughs> That's what they wanted to play? Maxwell at my, uh, that one? Nobody listens to that song. <laughs> I tell you, there's more interesting stuff going on during the...